Okay, so this is, or maybe a little bit difficult for me, but um, I just wanted to go through and tell you about um, my 2018 and what I'm going to be doing hopefully in 2019. And I'm hoping it's going to be a heck of a lot better. So I'm going to start with the dreary stuff and then move on to the better stuff. I always get very anxious around New Year anyway, I always have done, uh, but I'm particularly anxious today because of the rough year we've had. Now, <clears throat> I know everybody, there's always somebody that's in a worse position than you, and, and I, I totally get that, totally get that. But for me, um, for my little life, <laughs> 2018 has been the worst year of my life. Um, and I'm not exaggerating when I say that. And my dad always used to bless him, <coughs> call me a drama queen. And uh, but I'm not exaggerating. I think if my dad was here, he'd say the same thing. So. How did 2018 go for me? Not a great year. But everything that happened, um, it was all natural, if that makes sense. Um, and it was a, a really lovely, lovely friend of mine um, that sat down and went through this with me. Um, in fact, I've learned a lot of things about myself this year and about... Uh, friends and who's there for you more than I've ever done before so if we go back to January the 5th last year <coughs> quite a few of you will know that I had a car crash and Frankie Jack was in the in the car with us when some dozy twonk uh, came out of a no exit um, that not only uh, caused me to have the write-off of my car and caused me to have uh, back problems and neck problems, which I've still got, uh, which is ongoing, but it also um, financially hit me heavy. I mean, you're probably thinking, well, hang on, how's that going to happen? Well, I didn't take out and I didn't know what was gap insurance. So if anybody is thinking about getting a new car, all I can tell you is my advice is make sure you get that gap insurance because you never know what's going to happen to you. Um, so I ended up losing a lot of money at the start of the year immediately. And money doesn't make you happy. No, I agree with that. But um, it certainly... Um, helps you feel more secure so at the start of the year that wasn't very good for me and obviously Frankie Jack being in the car um I started to get um nightmares of what could have happened to me sorry I'm just moving the camera so what could have happened if if, if Frankie Jack had have been hit because it was my side that took the impact um and those are still reoccurring nightmares however they're not as bad <clears throat> excuse me, as um, March. So we'd been out for my birthday in March and it was a fabulous birthday. I was feeling incredibly lucky that I was here from the car accident and everything was okay and my back wasn't, my back was a, 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 a back problem that I could just deal with. And then of course, um, without going into too much detail, obviously my dad and I struggle to see, I struggle to watch pictures, uh, look at pictures. I struggle to talk about him. I blame myself because my mum and I couldn't save him. And we tried our hardest that night. And we just couldn't resuscitate him. And that haunts me. But I'm glad that I was there. Uh, I'm going to have to move on because it's too raw. Um, and my mum had a stroke in April. We had we moved my mum, so that was a big thing. Uh, my mum was suffering with quite a lot of grief. And um, uh, I had... Um, a week off work and I I, I moved my mum, my eldest brother 
did an awful lot. In fact, he's done more than any of us. And he's, he, he's been my rock. Uh, my youngest brother, who's older than me, um, he came up from London. He did an amazing amount, built a new bathroom for my mom because it definitely needed doing. <laughs> and uh, that was great. <clears throat> but then my mom... Uh, the move was very difficult. Very, very difficult. Um, hard moving things out of your dad's house. It's almost as if you're saying, Oh, cheerio! And there's your stuff with you. So that was difficult. And then, uh, April, she had a stroke. Or end of April, beginning of... No, it would have been beginning of May. And my brain has become foggy. Has anybody else done this with grief? Uh, my brain is really foggy. I'm forgetting a lot of things and um, not texting people back and not calling people back and just forgetting, just generally forgetting. Um, <clears throat> then we scattered my dad's ashes. And uh, it would have been my dad's 80th in May. Um, and then my mum fell and broke both her, her, her arms and her nose um so that was traumatic and then i had a, won't go into it because um i don't feel strong enough but i had some personal stuff go on with me in july which wasn't very nice uh then frankie jack started school now that should be a lovely thing which it is but i found it very stressful and i don't know whether you do you did it as a mom if you have been a mom or a grandma I found that very difficult. Anyway, now he's there. I love it for him. And he loves it. And it's fabulous. And uh, all's good. But I was worried about it before, which was stupid. And then in October, I had uh, a little procedure at hospital, which then I found out that everything was good with me. So that's good. Chest is still not being sorted out. Um, I'm under going at the hospital but they left me and I had to chase that up the NHS has let me down um and of course I've been ill running up to Christmas for 2018 so not the best year um one of my goals was hit though um one of the goals that I wanted to do was reach a thousand people and without you, and I truly mean this, without you, I would never have done that. So I was elated at the end of November when I hit 1,000 people, 1,000 subscribers on my YouTube. And I, I could be doing this, nobody watching, nobody subscribing. It's all you. It's all you. And I can't thank you from the bottom of my heart. And that's why I keep saying thank you for your support. Thank you for your support. Because it's just amazing and it feels great. And you have been there for me. I've had such amazing messages from people. Um, I have as well, which I will be talking about more in January. So I keep wiping my nose because I should have brought a tissue. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, I have started bereavement counselling now because my doctor recommended and I've started to meditate. Please don't think I'm a bit weird for doing that. Uh, but I'm thinking that it may help me in my process. Frankie Jack's coming upstairs now, so I can't cry. Um, we're going to be making a gingerbread house this afternoon, which will be going out later. And the best hot chocolate will be coming. It's just we need to we need to do it. I filmed it the other night when we made it, and it all crashed, so I couldn't. It, there's no video. I don't know what happened. So I've got to do that again for you. Um, so for this year, I've got loads of goals. I've got some wonderful people that I work with. I've got some wonderful friends that have been friends with me for 20 odd years that have been there for me, um, you know, throughout the year. But I've also, and this doesn't happen when you get, when I feel when you get to my age, I've met a couple of people this year, from last year to this year, that have become such good friends and I am so grateful for that because when you get to when I feel when you get to sort of my age our age you cut that they're, they're they're few and far between aren't they uh, good friends but people that have been there for me sitting down helping me talking me through it uh, helping me every step of the way if I've needed their help they've been there for me to talk to and because uh, I have been quiet I have shut down um, apart from opening up my YouTube and social media back in October if you have a look I wasn't on social media for a good six seven months I shut off completely uh, because I just not that I oh, don't want to go on social media 
wasn't that. It was just that I just couldn't face it. I couldn't face it. So I've had people talking me through it. Simon Adamson, thank you to you. That's why this YouTube malarkey has started up. That's a producer that I used to work for. Very, very, very lovely guy. Um, and he basically said, why don't you put all this on YouTube? Why don't you do this? You should do this. You should. And, and I was like, oh my God. So I got talking to him. And it was supposed to start early in 2018. But of course, because of what happened with my dad, it, it didn't. Um, and obviously people at work because they've seen me crafting because my crafting has gone mad and we think the crafting that I'm doing is almost an escapism uh, from my dad but I'm loving doing it so I'm going to carry on um, a good friend of mine Paul has given me this the secret so I'm hoping uh, well I'm, I'm, I'm clinging on to this and hoping this is going to be my breakthrough for 2019 Ooh excuse me um if anybody has uh, read it or seen it i'm gonna watch it today then please i really would advise you to get it so these are my goals for 2019 because oh my gosh could the year get any worse oh of course don't forget my mom had a sus sus suspected stroke in december as well and uh another member of our family collapsed won't mention their names because they're very private and they don't really want me to talk about it, but my mum probably doesn't want me to either um so my goals for 2019 is to get my mum fitter healthier no excuses she's got all excuses under the sun uh she has got to get healthier secondly so do i and i will um i've truly let myself go since having frankie jack not having the time to do anything um not having the time to go to the gym and all the pts all the gym guys in the world can say what they want but when you have kids unless it's your job working out it is so difficult you're knackered um you feel crap and then it's a vicious cycle because i'm one of those that actually um will eat for comfort so of course I put on weight again I feel disgusting that's not going to be helping my breathing either so I am absolutely 100% determined and if I haven't lost weight by the end of January end of February you have you can tell me off and I want you to I want you to tell me off I want you to keep that jaw going I, I would absolutely love your support with it and if you want to carry on with the journey with me uh, with losing weight if you need to then please do so that's the health side and of course Gary's the same um, and that also doesn't translate great on Frankie Jack if we're, we're unhealthy because Gary and I were always sort of gym bunnies and now it's just all gone out the window and of course we don't feel great about ourselves so that's going to be one of the things another thing is to say no I'm like that character of Vicar of Dibley where I go no 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 yes and anybody that really knows me they'll be nodding their head now I can never say no to anybody so if anybody calls me up, if anybody wants me to do anything for them, if anybody wants me to go anywhere, I don't have no in my vocabulary and I need to get it <laughs> um, because uh, sadly what I've learnt more than anything this year is I don't say no and I've been there even though the troubles that I've been through, I've been there. Uh, for others and it hasn't been reciprocated for any other year that would have been fine but for this year with the troubles that I've been through and needing people more than ever not even though I've been weird this year and I've shut down and I haven't been very good at communicating that's part of the grieving process or my grieving process and I need just to say no I need to say no because the, the amount of times that I've needed or wanted and people haven't been there um so saying no <laughs> no 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 yes saying no um they all know they all know how bad I am. If you are a really good friend of mine, you will know how bad I am. I will be there. I, you know, I will answer my phone at two in the morning. I will go out. I'm just, I'm stupid. That's what I am. I'm stupid and I'm a fool. And that's going to change. Um, 
and I've had a really good talking to by a very good friend of mine and she sat me down and she is wonderful. She's it's almost the same age as me. I'm not, she's basically sat down and went, this is what you're going to do. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like a light bulb moment. Yes, I do know. Um, so yes, <laughs> and to not let people into my heart as much, <laughs> which means saying no. Um, more me time. This sounds very selfish, doesn't it? More me time, but more me time or Frankie Jack and I time and the family time. Um, trying to do more things with a family, even though, again, it's always me that arranges this. Um, I do love my time with my family, so um, that's going to be something that I'm going to be focusing on. And, of course, I want YouTube to grow, and I would love to be able to be sat here this time next year and go, I've got 5,000 subscribers! Um, but that's not going to happen unless my content's good. You want to stay with me. You want to support me. And uh, I just hope you will. I really do. Um, I love you lots. Love you from the bottom of my heart. Um, some of you I've known for years now um, through being on bid and doing radio and doing heart and the BBC and, and now at Ideal. And um, you've stuck with me and I can't thank you enough. So... From me to you, I wish you a very happy new year. I hope 2019, because I swear to God, it's going to be my year. <laughs> it's got to be my year. It's got to be your year, hasn't it? I so want it to be. Um, and 5,000 subscribers by 2000. Am I being greedy saying that? Am I being greedy? Because uh, it can't happen unless my content's good. So, of course, I've got to make sure that everything that I do is exciting for you to watch, etc. But I know you love my little boy as well, Frankie Jack. So uh, I might do something with him in the in the new year as well. Um, but please, if you could share the posts on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram. Uh, you could let your friends know if they're interested in it. If there's anything that you want me to do, write in the comments. And that will be a video that I do. I've got a few ideas that a few of you gave me in December that I'm going to be doing. Uh, don't feel afraid of writing in that comment section and saying, Sally, can you do this? Or Sally, can you do that? If I can do it, I will do it. Because if you're asking for it, then of course you want it. So... Um, all the best for tonight. Let's give a thumbs up for 2019. I know my uh, papa is looking down on me, my lovely daddy. And uh, I would have always rung him today as well and tonight. That's going to be a difficult one. Anyway. <clears throat> Move off that. <laughs> um, it will be easy for me to talk about him eventually. But at the moment, I struggle a lot. Um... So 5,000 subscribers, can I do it? Can we do it? Can we have it part of our YouTube family? I hope so. I really do hope so. It'd be lovely to grow. So what have I got coming in 2019? I've got more interviews. I've got with some fab people. Honestly, I've got more interviews with people that you may not have even heard of that are from my area, that have got local businesses and bits and pieces going on, which is amazing, which I'm going to be showing you. I've also got some fantastic giveaways, not just from me, but from also uh, local businesses that I'm going to be talking to. You're going to see... Um, more of my family time, my weight loss. I've got a room to do up, Frankie Jack's new bedroom that we're going to do together. So you're going to be able to see that. Um, I've got makeup tutorials that I'm going to do. And once I've lost weight and feel better about myself, confidence wise, um, I'm going to start doing a heck of a lot more fashion because of course that is my background. Um, but at the moment I just feel I feel, <laughs> I feel ugly. <laughs> um, and what else am I going to do? Well, loads. You're going to see a lot of uh, what, what I do at work. Um, I'm going to do some days in the life of, which I know some of you asked for makeup tutorials, eyelashes, uh, hair tutorials, craft tutorials. I've got loads of stuff coming up for Valentine's. I've got Easter ideas. I'm already on for Frankie Jack's birthday party. So there's an awful lot. So love you lots. I wish you all the best for 2019 have a fab time tonight we've got a crazy night tonight we weren't doing anything and all of a sudden since 10 o'clock last night it's sprung up and we're doing stuff but you'll see that tomorrow frankie jack say i've been happy oh he's been playing out in the garden come on he's been playing out and he's all wet so say <laughs> daddy's been washing me <laughs> has daddy been washing you gary's power washing the back patio so what are you gonna say have a lovely time tonight and a happy new year! Yeah!
have you got anything else you want to add to that? Uh, bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe.